All right, I'm on hole number five of the Paradise Islands. Still got some work to do on hole number four. I damn near got a birdie or a par on that hole. So let's check out hole number five. Hole number five is Oasis, hole number eight. Da 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 da. The Oasis. I'm going to try the shot. I'm, I'm not sure. God damn it. I'm going to try the shot too. I got to get used to this new pan where I'm going over to this spot and bouncing it up into here. I'm going to see what I can do with this, but I don't know that I have enough. I don't know that I have enough to get it over there. If not, I'm going to have to try and shoot out of this area, but I'm going to, I'm going for this shot over here. I'm going to, that's what I want to work. I'll bring this stuff for the other shot. The other shot's pretty simple. So I'm going to bring, for the other shot, I'll bring a QB. Hey, come on. I'm going to bring a QB. Sniper shouldn't come into play. How much topspin do I have? 3.9. How much topspin I got in my Saturn? I'm going to bring my Saturn. So I'm not sure how much topspin, backspin I'll need. So I bring my Kingfisher. I think I can get it done with my Kingfisher. In this bag, I want to bring the same stuff. I'm not sure if I can get it done. I'm not sure if it takes topspin or if it takes backspin. I may not be able to get it done with my Kingfisher, but I doubt that I'll get into that range. I'm definitely going to need more topspin. Then 18. I'm going to bring my sniper just in case because if I'm out there in my sniper range, I'm not that I'm not that far off. Titan, the king of balls. Here we roll. Now let's go get that, that chest. Let's open one up. You got a platinum. Which means nothing. Except that you get more common cards. That's what we're looking for is common cards. That's all I'm looking for. People used to bitch about getting common cards. I'll take all the common cards you got. Now, if you have an extra mile eight or an extra mile nine, I know you can do the shot from the other side over there. But an extra mile six doesn't have quite all of its power yet. And they've got a five and they're over there. And there's a little bit of a window down there below where their red line's at. And they're using like a, a two power ball instead of a three. So I'll be able to get over into that area with a three power ball and an extra mile seven. Because I think at six you get a boost. A bump, as you were, if you will. Thank you, please. That's all I'm looking for is that window. What I'm trying to get is about two rings off. It's three one. It's about a ring and a half. I'm gonna put just a little bit of power back in it. And I'm gonna lean just a little, just a little bit to the left. Hit it one ring right to the right. And I don't have a lot of room on the right or the left, so that's probably in the rough. Now, whether it bleeds out or not, it's another story. I have like one ring great to the left and one ring great to the right, and I'd be all right. But anything more than that, and then I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was trying to leave myself a little bit of room for a maneuver. That's why I always leave myself two rings off. And if I'm on one of those areas where I can't get, I'll get right dead center in the middle. Because I have a, several thought processes on that. Number one, I'm giving myself the maximum amount of room on the left and the right. And number two, it would seem to me that the bottom of that would be the flattest spot there. So I'm trying to hit to the flattest spot. And he's getting at it. <laughs> Let's do a rough bump here. Where am I at in my club? Ooh, ooh, I'm I may not I'm right like right in between clubs here. 
I don't have enough topspin to get me out of it. This is one of the benefits of bringing a Saturn is because if you bring a Saturn behind a club that you're not sure on distance, you can use backspin. So it's two per ring. So I'm going to do a little bit of a pull. So I'm going to do a two ring pull. I'm just try and bring it back to the cup. I have to abandon any shot of getting in there. I am into my red line. So that means that I need to bring oh, a short iron that hits with, that's got a lot of top spin and hits farther forward, which might be my runner. I think that's my only option. And I think it hits quite a bit farther. This is why Monday I say I go out and I work my clubs and then I'm trying to figure out, establish what club I need to bring because I hit the drive exactly where I want it. I mean, I could have missed the rough right there and got a little bit farther forward, but the deal is, is that that's where I want that ball to go. And then my second club sucked. So I have to make a change there in the ball and the drive. That's the spot. So I have to now adapt to that spot. So my choices are I could bring a lower level ball and get that with my sniper or excuse me, get that with my Saturn or not try and get out there so far. There's a fine line on that. I could bring a, a club that hits a little bit closer. This is very similar to what we're getting in a tournament. Once again, I'm going to be long. I'm just going to shoot it. Let my opponent think they got the best of me. It'll go long. There's no way with the three and a half to get it to, to go short. That was shorter than I got it to go last time. Last time I was in the rough. You're going to have to be a guardian on that hole right there. And on that last hole, I'll have to go back and watch that video, and we'll have to look at the clubs when we get out of this shootout on where I'm at. Because I think a runner's probably the club, like, I want something that hits far forward in the short iron range so that the red line between my short iron and my long iron are is very small. My opponent won. I can't believe I won. Good luck. Good luck. Let's check in my bag real quick. Let's look on there so that we can answer that question and see what the what the change is. So when I go back and watch this video, I'll know. <laughs> so the Kingfisher was what was in question. I don't have really good choices. I got 82 is my big hitter right here. That definitely has top spin, and that's only three yards farther forward, so that may or may not help me. 82, 82, 86, and I got no top spin there. That's not going to help me. That's it. Well, I do have my Apache. And as sad as it may sound, that might be the club to have right there because it hits it hits the max. So it's going to push me all the way up to my minimum short iron. And it has great top spin. And the top spin, because it's a because of that kind of shot, it's a rough bump. That uh, ball guide will still hurt, but it won't be as bad as it could be. So the only thing you have to deal with is the accuracy. So I think an Apache is probably... Wow, that's a sad statement. <laughs> like, why is this club not working? Ah, uh, because of power. I'll have to go back and see, like, if I had just a little bit of room down there, but I think I needed I needed a lot of room. So an Apache might be the only club that works. All right. That was uh, 
What was that hole number five? Of the Paradise Islands tournament. Thanks for watching.